Now we saw the demo in live how confusing API calls can be. To make the development process faster, we have Cognito SDKs. So Cognito to SDKs are wrappers built on top of the API calls which we just saw and uh, they uh, they had just defined some pre-built functions and uh, those functions uh, actually do API call for you and those functions are available for uh, many languages like uh, if I go here these languages are supported Java, JavaScript, PHP, Python, Ruby, Kotlin, .NET, C++, Go and command line interface. So let's uh, explore SDK now. I will uh, use JavaScript SDK for Cognito and uh, here it's not looking good. So what we can do, we can search AWS JavaScript V3 SDK Cognito and this UI is really good. Here uh, we can see uh, all the APIs. So if I open it in parallel, here whatever the actions we saw. Now for all the actions, we have these uh, functions available, and uh, we can use these functions in our code to give a demo. I have already created uh, one React application. Here, user pool SDK and it's already running. I will stop it. And uh, here, if we see, I have not done anything. We have app.js as it is. And in package.json, uh, I have React dependency only. So what I will do, I will go ahead and install uh, Cognito Identity Provider, Client Cognito Identity Provider from AWS SDK. So, it's installing till it's installing i will update my code also so here in this repo only i have updated the repo with user pool sdk and uh, for this uh, demo i just need to update app.jsx only i will just copy and paste as it is here and uh, let's uh, use same client uh, i mean same uh, user pool or this purpose also but uh, i will i will just delete the user and recreate it this user delete user disable delete and create it again uh, confirm mark as verified and uh, password so user is created freshly now now let's understand what uh, we are doing in the code since we have already seen the uh, api part it will be pretty intuitive for us so from uh, SDK, we are importing Cognito Identity Provider Client and initiate auth command and respond to auth command. And I think uh, these two might be looking familiar because these are what we just uh, saw. And uh, this Cognito Identity, Identity Provider Client is just a uh, uh, way to create client uh, with uh, uh, instance of client with uh, necessary details like uh, uh, region which this configuration we still need to update here i think region i have already updated uh, we need to update client id so i will go to clients client id and uh, put it here so new instance of cognito client is created cognito identity provider client is created and its name is cognito client and here 
I have created some states for email, password, view, and session. And I have two functions, handle login and handle challenge. And uh, as you can guess, handle login is for initiate auth and uh, uh, handle challenge is for respond to auth. Uh, for view, uh, view when uh, it's login view, I will show email and password and uh, on uh, on uh, click of login button, this handle login will be called. And inside handle login, we can see that I'm passing user uh, auth flow as user password auth whatever we passed in api we passed auth parameters also as username and password and client id uh, to do head to head comparison we can we can see here also here uh, for initiate auth command we can see we passed uh, header we passed this thing we passed auth flow and client id these details here also same parallel mapping is going on after that we create command and uh, when we do this cognito client.send actual api call will happen and it will be stored in response now what uh, 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 what i'm doing is i'm logging it and uh, if challenge uh, if response contains challenge as new password then i will uh, swap the screen to otp screen or uh, uh, new password screen and uh, if it's uh, 200 then i will just show login successful similarly in uh, second screen which is uh, this one uh, this one from here to here uh, so here i'm just showing one text field and uh, one button on click of button it will call this handle challenge and here also we can see we are passing new uh, challenges new password required session uh, which we will receive as part of initiate auth and uh, these two also we passed uh, as part of api so it's straightforward and on successful we will uh, send back to login i will save it and uh, let's see it in ui let's refresh it i guess i have not started it okay we got ui we have uh, its open network tab and here we can enter email so i will enter my email and password now when i hit login api it says 400 i had not expected but let's see why it's saying 400 user password or flow is not enabled for this kind okay let's log in now we got 200 and uh, this is what we got in response we got challenge name as required password that's why view is changed and uh, now here i will enter my new password and i will save uh, before that saving before saving new password uh, here we can see uh, under uh, request these are the parameters that we pass these are exactly same for api uh, whatever we do it when we did the api calls now i will just uh, save new password password change successfully and uh, now um, this was the second call here we can see we pass session and uh, all the same detail now if i log in for login also i got 200 and login is successful so this is what cognito uh, yes this is how we can use cognito sdk in our uh, client uh, in our uh, application and here i am using uh, react and uh, uh, means i'm using uh, front end and public client but uh, we can also use uh, private client and do same thing in the back end but when we use uh, private client then we have to handle client secret also and uh, that you can check in the documentation maybe as uh, assignment you can try to do it in server side on your own now let's uh, move on to next section we are done with both flows auth, auth 0 and sdk way 